historic, one of the greatest things about playing Grimlock actually came to my attention, uh, as it comes to all of our attentions, when that venture that you're starting, that you're giving birth to, that you're, that you're at the inception of, is not only embraced, but held on to by a generation and then another generation and who knows, maybe another generation. And the, the, the fandom for this game, which made itself evident to us, uh, just sort of gave us all uh, that, that extra layer of frosting that what we were doing was resonating, was working. Now, uh, I was born into a character that was driven by aggression. <laughs> but also had some some obstacles to his uh, to his just thought processes that gave him sort of a sweetness as well. Um, what I loved about playing Grimlock is basically he's always been and remains and has transitioned into a character who essentially has no filters. His strength, his strength, which may also uh, be a liability at times, is that he has a capacity to go ready, fire, aim. So he, he may jump into a fray before giving it measured thought. Well, that's, that's uh, incredible for an actor to be able to play. Not hot-headed, just so single-mindedness, single-minded in his purpose, that if, if uh, he wants to hear cocktail war stories, that's what he wants. <laughs> trying to get him onto a transport saying, nice dino, nice dino. He says, me no nice dino, me king! <laughs> me no kiss you, me king! Anyway, uh, it's just an example of whatever, whatever, he's reactionary to whatever it is that he hears or does. That makes him a fearsome uh, ally uh, in the cause, uh, and, and it also, uh, to answer your question, is the joy of having been allowed and being allowed and uh, looking forward to, continue to continuing to be allowed to, uh, to give him voice.